catch you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Good morning Good morning, Nairobi, Kenya. We're going to breakfast before we head out for the day for the elephant orphanage. All right, so for breakfast, I just got a little bit of everything. Um, it's some, some cream spinach, a little like some black eyed peas, but it was called something else. It's some sweet potato, some regular potato, and some green juice. I wonder if they have ketchup somewhere. And then we're waiting for an omelet to be made as well. Y'all, look at this thing, and then he's just gonna keep coming. Hey, thank you. Okay. Oh. Trying to get by. Y'all all in the way. Got somewhere to be. Got oh. <laughs> somewhere to be. Y'all all in the way. I'm just... <laughs> ah. I love it. We are now at Sheldrick Wildlife Reserve where we will interact with elephants. This is like... an elephant reserve where they rescue baby elephants who have lost their parents a lot of times due to poachers. All right, so it looks like it's 11 a.m. This place opens at 11, and now it looks like we're just kind of walking fast. I have no idea what's going on. But it kind of looks like... So rhinos like dust baths. As you can see. <laughs> he is loving it. He's like, you missed the spot. Yeah, I'm just 
I would like to take this opportunity and welcome you all at the Sheldrake Wildlife Trust. We kindly request you all to try and maintain silent for the period that you're going to be here so that we can be able to see these baby elephants and also to hear more about them. But also not to hold the branches for them because we don't want the elephants to get used to everybody as a friend who can give them food. This will help them to have an easier time to go back into the wild when it is time ready. If the elephants are next to the line where you are, you also advise to make sure that you keep standing up. This is because if you scroll down or sit down, some of them might want to come and push and kick as they do the soccer ball. <laughs> but if you keep standing up, they will give you a lot of respect. This also means that if you've got little kids in front of you, Try to provide special attention to the little ones because some of the elephants sees the mass of the same size and so might want to come and play the pushing game with them. The elephants don't realize how heavy and strong they are and that's why we have to take care of the little ones. And lastly, if you've got a mobile phone on you, you're advised to use it only for taking photos and not for communication because everyone talking on their phones will be making noise for all the rest. Thank you and welcome at the Sheldrake Wildlife Trust. This is a project that was started officially back in the year 1977. It offers out to the park every day, setting them free in a wild environment so that they can interact, communicate, play, and make friends with different groups of wild elephants of their choices. That process of reintroducing them back into the wild takes quite a long time before it fully happens. It takes a minimum of about five years. And that is why our keepers have to stay with them until the time they will be adapted. And once they all get adapted, then we can successfully say we've achieved our target. <laughs> our main target here is to rescue them <laughs> since they were found orphans and read them. Wow. And later on, reintroducing them back into the wild. Next, after Kitty, she's not a with the name Latika. The Latika is approximately two years old, slightly over two years. Latika was rescued from some conservation area. She's also well known as the elephant with the shortest trunk in the nursery. She was found trapped in a snare all around her neck, and that's why we rescued her. A snare is a wire trap. Being around the neck will kill the animal sensor. If one struggles to get out of the snare, the snare becomes more tight and will suffocate them within a very short period. She's just lucky to have been identified still alive, and that's why we rescued Latika. Ivory poaching is another reason that has caused a few of them to be left orphans. 
and I say a few of them because for the last few years, the trend of poaching in Kenya has dropped, which is a good sign, which we hope, pray, and believe that the drop continues until there will be no more poaching in the long run. But unfortunately, a few of them came in because the mothers were killed. You don't buy anything that comes from ivory or from the rhino horn. By ensuring that you spread the word to all your friends and relatives and colleagues not to buy anything that comes from ivory or from the rhino horn. We all did that right from the comfort of our homes. We'll have ensure that the poachers don't have a market. Once they don't have a market, they won't see the need to continue killing the elephants because they don't have... The two getting water from the water trough at my left, the smaller one is Morijo, who is about uh, 18 months old, who is meant to be in the first group, but she likes to bully a lot, the young ones. <laughs> so we decided to bring her in the second group so that she can get some discipline from the big girls. <laughs> she was rescued from all Mala Conservancy, which is found in Lakipia, after she's been separated from her family by human beings. Next to Ahmed is Lord Daika, two years old, rescued from Lord Daika Conservancy, which is found in Lakipia, a victim of human wildlife conflict. Generally, elephants will live as long as we do, and approximately 60 to 70 years is the lifespan. This lifespan of an elephant depends on the nature of their teeth. An elephant has got six sets of teeth. Every set will last for approximately 10 years. That's why any time between the age of 60 and 70, all the teeth are worn out, they will die from starvation, which is a natural death. The Lord is staying groups and families under the leadership of the oldest female, who by natural instinct automatically becomes the leader or the mentor of the group. The boys will leave the families after maturity, which is above 15 years, while the females will stay together for the rest of their lives. And generally, elephants are very clever and very intelligent animals. They also do have a perfect memory, which means they will remember everything that happens in their lives. And that is why the saying that goes, elephants never forget, is very, very true. So Maxwell is about uh, 17 years old. He's a black rhino. Yeah. Red skin with a red skin. Born blind. He jumped up right in front of his nose to fly. That's why we rescued him. When he came in, we had to fix his eyes so that we can see. I know. <laughs> Later on, with the use of the ultrasound machine, which is done by Angela Yes. Then you fill in a form with class all the others that we bought in the nursery. If you adopt an elephant, only a 50 US dollars a year. We also make you the keeper's diary, which is written every day by different keepers telling different stories from different orphans. And all that will be brought to your monthly basis online. You can adopt an elephant from the school, so you can do it as a gift to a friend. If you do it as a gift, it is a gift for CP and they will receive the updates every month. But if you do it for yourself, it's you that will receive the updates every month. So until after one year, we let you know. So that you can decide if you want to renew it again or not. And so that is why it is important that after you've seen all the babies that have come before you, you make a choice of which one that you want to have support. And on your way out, we do have the forms for you to fill in so that you can get a certificate in the name of your elephant and walk back home, a very lucky parent to a baby elephant. This will also ensure that the project continues to save more. They would have died because something wrong has happened to the mother. And if you're not able to do this right away today, you can pick some information on the table on your way to ensure that the project continues to save more. They would have died because something wrong has happened to the mother. And if you're not able to do this right away today, you can pick some information on the table on your way out, which is on our website. When you go back to the table, okay. When do you want to start today? Today is first of the, the first of the year.
So yeah. I know watch Hobbs, right? We are the. How do you pronounce it? I don't know. Day, 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 day. That's a little dick. Y'all, we have new parents of a baby elephant. Lodega is our baby's name. I call her baby mama. Baby mama. We got a whole elephant. <laughs> This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision. Does anyone know why this page is blank? Yes, why is it blank? Because they didn't put the people in there because the people didn't survive. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am Jerry Trapp, and I'm the author and the illustrator of the graphic novel New Kid and Class Act and School Trip. It just came out in April. So he actually won a Newbery Prize in 2015 for his book, The Crossover. So he was the fourth African-American author to ever win a Newbery Medal. And the Newbery has been around for like 101 years, which is absolutely amazing. So I like to copy everything he does. So I said, oh, well, you know what? And when this came out in 2019, in 2020, I actually joined him and became the sixth or fifth like, person ever to win a Newbery. And now he has a TV show on Disney Plus for the crossover, which is amazing. I harassed him, I actually got a good part in it. So even though he's one of my friends and buddies, he's still one of my heroes. I have to say, but don't tell myself. <laughs> All right, so anyway. So that is Jordan. It's like, how cool is that? We get to get Jerry Craft books in Africa. <laughs> in Africa, that's cool for me too. Right? The other thing I like about these stores in Ghana and Congo is look at all this beautiful color representation. You know how you go to other places and you don't necessarily see black people being advertised? It's like really really interesting because it's like these are the subliminal messages you get in your brain when you see yourself up on the walls and we're gonna get a light snack here this is so cute It's like the things here look so cute. Right? All day breakfast. Oh, look at these pancakes. Oh, look at the corn. So in this mall, y'all, we're not allowed to record or take pictures. So this is all y'all about to get. Jay got a complicated train. <laughs> Look at that. This like a Kumbule coffee. And what did he say? He said, try to take some off because it might spill. Oh, okay. Wow. That is good. Yep. Yep, that's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, 
All right, y'all. So we just left the uh, mall. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We just left the mall. So it's this mall right here. But it was very much like any mall in America, USA. I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been